Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Today we're going to be talking about the Swan Beam Drilling Machine and the problems that I'm having with it getting parts. As you saw in the last video, I need bolts to go in those four holes. The bolts I have I ended up having to cut the heads off of them in order to get them out because the caps were reduced to pieces of their former cells. These screws are an odd size. They fit in this thread just perfect. I thread in, not too loose, not too tight. I'm going to check the thread pitch by using a thread gauge. The pitch is the number of points in an inch. This one says it matches up with the 20 threads per inch, mostly. Now, the bolt has been damaged. Looks like somebody jacked on the threads a little bit. You can see where they've been stretched. That can come from having the bolt head brazed in place because it makes it heat up and stretch. The 18 threads per inch is coarse too coarse to fit in and match up with those threads. We'll try the 24. That's too fine. See how it sits on top of the points? So, we're closest to 20 threads per inch. I think if the bolt was in good shape, we'd be a lot closer to 20 threads per inch. Let's try it against a different bolt. I'm going to say 20 threads per inch. It might be 20.5 or somewhere around there. But I'm going to say that 20 threads per inch is the number that I want to hit. 20 threads per inch is a good number. It's a number that I actually have access to. The diameter of a quarter 20 screw. If I look it up in the catalog, a quarter 20 screw has a major diameter of 0.250, that's a quarter inch, that sounds about right. The basic pitch diameter is the diameter that you end up with after you've run the die over the quarter inch shaft, and it actually cuts away a little bit of the outside, so you end up with a 0.2175 diameter. That's borne out by this measurement here. Yep, we're at 2182. This is a plated screw. Close enough. Or when I measure the basic pitch diameter of the screws that I took out, on average, they're about 0 0.265. It means they're bigger. That explains why this screw fits snugly, well, runs in there, wiggles a little bit, but not too bad. This screw, when I put it in there, actually shakes around really bad. It's almost to the point of pulling out. This one, 
solid. This one, way too loose. Tightens up. Still wobbly all the way down in. This one, the farther you go down, the more it tightens up. So quarter 20 is going to be too small. And making a thread that's, uh, if I use the formula for a standard thread, making a bolt that's going to end up with a pitch diameter, a major pitch diameter of about, let's see, 0.2175 from 250. We'll use my paper calculator. Thirty-two thousandths difference from the minor diameter, since the old screw is point two six five. End up the right size thread. I'd have to start out with a shaft that was point two eight two inches in diameter. I can start out, turn a shaft, cut a thread on it, put it in a collet, and turn a head on it so that it matches this screw. I could weld these holes shut, drill and tap them for a quarter twenty and re-tap them and put new screws in them. Or I could take the other opportunity and uh, make a head and attach it to that screw. That's what I'm going to try. I'm still going to need the lathe so I have to finish up the lathe assembly before I can carry on with this one. Looking at these caps, the amount of wear that they're showing, I'm going to try and just tighten these up. The person who put these together previously used braze. I'm going to use silver solder. I'm going to flow it down into those gaps. But before I do that, I'm going to dip these in vinegar clean them chemically. That way I can have <clears throat> the silver solder flow down into the joint and do a much better job of joining them. Because right now all he had holding was just the amount gluing the cap of the screw to the bearing cap. So I'm going to get these cleaned up, then we're going to try silver soldering them back together again. While this is in the vinegar etching, I'm going to reassemble that lathe. And that's going to be a project, so it may take me a few days to get done, or even a week. So this project is pretty much on hold while I wait for the vinegar to work and I get the equipment and infrastructure around to do the jobs that I need to do.